everyone welcome to dress my craft this is video design team member jeshru this side in today's tutorial i'm going to share with you all how to make a mixed media layout using the beautiful dream door collection paper pack but before we get started please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos on the dress my craft channel I am taking first of all a 12 by 12 inch chipboard on which I will be adhering one of the pattern paper from the Dream Door collection paper pack in the size 12 by 12. I am using this gorgeous black pattern paper with a lot of script and designing on it. I am adhering it using a liquid glue. You can use red tacky tape to adhere this as well. Next I am taking another pattern paper from the same collection and tearing it off to adhere it in the center. This will give us a nice dimensional look. I'm also removing any white area hanging out from the pattern paper. I'm going to adhere this using double sided foam tape for the extra dimension. But before I adhere it, I'm going to distress the edges using distress oxide ink in the color black suit. I'm using the black color on this pink kind of a pattern paper because the base pattern paper is black and I want it to be merged inside it. Once done, I'm going to take my focal image and adhere a pattern paper behind it as well. I have already pre-cut this pattern paper a little bigger than the size of my photograph and I have also distressed the edges using my scissors. I am also going to distress the edges using some oxide ink in the color black suit itself. Again for more dimension I am adding this picture on this pattern paper using double sided foam tape. Next I am taking some light paste which is also your modeling paste or texture paste and mixing some red acrylic paint into it. I am using mixed media stencil from Dress My Craft in the design crackle and applying this red colored paste through it on my background. start creating my layout now. I am using a lot of fussy cut out element both from the pattern paper as well as from the motif sheet. I am also using the classic doily die cut out cut into half and adhering it on the top right corner and bottom left corner of the adhered dimensional pattern paper in the center. I am also adding a lot of distressed gauche behind my flask give it a little more extra element. I am also adhering this chipboard frame behind my picture. I am adhering everything using hot glue here. You can use your fevicol or any other liquid glue for that matter. a thumbs up if you're enjoying watching this tutorial also the link to all the products used from dress my craft is given in the description box below so do check that out
enduring a few clay molds in my composition as well. Everything is adhered in its place and the composition is complete. I'm using a green color impasto paint or any acrylic green color would work and dry brushing it on my clay molds to give it a nice mixed green color so that it blends with the composition very well. Last but not the least, I'm adding some black flower pearls as well as pink flower pearls here and there to finish off my layout.
where our layout is ready. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and are inspired to make your own mixed media layouts using the very gorgeous Dream Door collection. Please do subscribe to the channel before you go and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.